Hey, it's diesel heater season, and this video will be discussing diesel heaters and how they're going to work in my overlanding life. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors, and today we're discussing diesel heaters. Uh, you know, it's getting a little cooler. You can see all the leaves have fallen, and it's diesel heater season. Now, I will say I did get this from Wippro, W-I-P-P-R-O. They sent me a five kilowatt unit here, all in one. Diesel heaters have come a long ways, you know. Used to they come as kits and you kind of put them together and you build a box. Now they come in an all-in-one unit here. And you can see here, this, this runs on uh, Amazon. Here's a link to it. I think it's, as of today, it's uh, probably, uh, I think it's $129.99. Kind of ranges a little bit. And it just, it comes with everything you need. Now there are a few things I like to add, but the unit comes as a whole, it comes with an exhaust, it comes with an intake. Here's a picture of all the stuff broken apart. Most of the products are pretty good. Now because this unit is kind of meant for a broad audience, meaning everyone from van life to RVs to tents to uh, building a workshop. In my case, uh, it's overlanding. I like to hook it into my uh, rooftop tent, so it's a little different application than others. And there's two types of fuel sources that are needed for this. One, you do need diesel fuel, and the other, you need some kind of 12 volt uh, adapter. In this case, we're gonna use a Blue Eddy AC 180, which is pretty cool, video to follow later. Uh, and this is gonna be a 12 volt adapter that we have, kind of a cigarette lighter. So this is what comes with it. I actually did buy this Here's a link to a couple of the products that I, I, I kind of upgraded for this. I did this, I upgraded to some better uh, clamps on the outside, and then the hose that comes with this is very short. I'm, I'm probably gonna have this more towards the tire or on the ground with a hose going up. I'm not gonna use that, but I do use this one. I've used this one in the past with some other diesel heater reviews that I did last year. Here's a couple videos on that, and then I use a, uh, a twist clamp that I also bought off of Amazon. And this works perfectly for me. This is a three inch insulated and it works really well. So what I'd like to do is we'll turn the camera around. We'll do a kind of a walk around of what, what this entails and the different pieces. And then let's fire it up, see how it goes. And I want to do two tests. Just so you'll know when you're out in the field, how long this will last is let's do a test on low and let's do a test on high. Now I went ahead and already filled up the, uh, the diesel. Now this says it has a 1.3 gallon tank. Here's, the, here's how much I actually put in. So it's a little short of that. I put in 1.1. I'm guessing now that it's got some residue in the bottom after I've, I filled up initially. One gallon is probably all I'm gonna be able to put in there. All right, so as, as I said before, we've got the Blue Eddy here, and then we've got the Wipro unit. Now this is an all-in-one, and if you look here, it says it's a car parking heater, it's diesel. It says it's five kilowatt to eight kilowatts. I think it's more than the five kilowatt. It is made in China, and many times these things are called uh, Chinese diesel heaters. It's got uh, easy access up here to fuel, and then it's got a window right here so you can see your fuel gauge. You got a digital display, which is pretty easy to use. We'll fire this up in a minute. This is where the heat comes out. And underneath of here, we've got two different things. We've got the intake, and then we've got the exhaust. This is the exhaust right here, and it gets super hot. And we come to the back, this is the intake, this is the fan inside of it. And this is the adapter for the 12 volt. In this case, I've got this long piece here and I've got it hooked in uh, with a cigarette lighter that, that goes inside. And I bought this off Amazon. It wasn't very much money. All the ad, uh, add-ons that I did total here were about 40 bucks. Let's go ahead and power this guy up. Now this is a Blue Eddy. It's got 1152 watt hours. We're at 99%. Let's go ahead and turn on our DC. When we do that, this guy's gonna fire up here. So it says we're on zero, zero, we're at the first stage. Let's go ahead and hit the power button. Now it says it's on. You can see the fan starting to turn. I can feel some air coming out. Now this does come with a little cute remote, which you can go up and down and on and off. All right, this thing's still working up. You can see the glow plug here is, is uh, displayed, which means that's also heating up. Now you can hear the pump. So the pump uh, display has come on and it's starting to ramp up. You can hear it. All right, our display here is going around 113, 114, 115. Now it's really ramping up. Okay, we've seen the peak right around 127, 128 as this thing is getting ramped up. Now you can see here the bars on here. We, were, we started off with this little one. Now we're at the third one. 
as this thing is, is heating up. A lot of the ticking noise has subsided as well. We're at the five minute mark. You can see all the bars here are lit up. If we take a look in here, we're running about 250 degrees coming out of here. One thing I want to note is this exhaust is extremely hot. It is a uh, 231 degrees. So make sure you stay away from that. And now that this is fully operational, we are running about 32 to 42 watt hours at max capacity. We can very easily turn this down a little bit just by hitting the down button. We go down to the lowest setting here. It does come down quite a bit. And you see our watts here are around 10, 9, 10, somewhere in there, that 15 to 10 range. This, this thing is meant for a large room of over 200 and something square feet. Obviously, if we are in a, a, a tent that is significantly smaller than that, uh, you know, at 30 or 40 square feet, this thing ramped up at um, all the way up is going to put out a tremendous amount of heat. So last year when I was using these, I actually had this on low when it was 20 degrees outside. So let's go ahead and start our test. We're at the seven minute mark. We got this thing on low. Let's see how long it'll go on low. Right now on our, our power bank, we are at five watt hours, which means this thing's gonna go forever. So this isn't gonna be our factor. Our factor here is gonna be when the fuel runs out. So with that said, it's 1040 on Saturday morning. And uh, let's see how long it goes. All right, hey, just a couple things why this thing's kicking off. First things first, make sure you have this elevated a little bit. The exhaust comes out of there and comes down and is extremely hot. I just got this sitting on some blocks. This actually does come with some feet that hook in right here. And uh, you can you can put them on a block or something. I think I'm gonna put them on a four by four block. I just didn't have one laying around. It also does come with a manual. I found this manual not to be very helpful in any of the insulation and setting this up. It just uh, it didn't have anything around it. Most of it's just around on about the digital display. But I will say I, I fired this thing up. I hit the power button after I plugged it in, and it just started working. So I really didn't have to do much to it. So all in all, this has been a pretty good unit so far. So I think this might. And I've got it on low, and I can't hear any ticking. Some issues with these types of um, units is there's this tick, 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 when it's on low or medium or high, as your fuel pump is has a lot of metal uh, bouncing inside of it. You can get some quieter ones. Here's a video I did on another brand, very similar to this last year. Um, this seems to have, and they say on their website for this one, that it is very quiet. I will say it is very quiet you can very barely hear all i can really hear is the exhaust can't hear any ticking which is a big plus and the last thing is when you first get a diesel heater just like this one let it run for a couple hours and get everything burned off inside of it you'll, you'll smell some things when it first kicks in uh, and so it's a good test so i would run this way away from whatever your application is whether it's van life rv tent and our particular case is rooftop tent I think it's going to go about 15 hours on low. That, that's my guess, which will roughly give you two nights out and about before you have to reload or refuel this thing up. But one gallon tank is going to be fine to reload this up. Let's see how it goes. Well, we are at 10 hours and four minutes. It has been going strong. If we look at our battery, we are at 91% and it's just pulling four watts, which means this thing will go forever. We also aren't below uh, our window here. So that means the, the, uh, the fuel is still up in this area. If we open it up and look in there, I mean, you can kind of see it. After 10 hours, I don't even think we've used half a tank yet. So we're only on low, this isn't on high, but it's, it's still going strong. It is uh, 8.30 at night. We've been going since about 10.30 this morning, I guess. So we'll continue on until it runs out of gas. I am absolutely shocked. We're at the 24 hour mark and uh, this thing is going strong. So one thing to note, when you flip over 24 hours, it doesn't go to 24.01. It's just, it, it flips the timer back to here, but we're still going full strong. We're at low settings. Our fuel is about right here. It's uh, almost to the bottom. You can kind of look down in there and see. And we are using five watt hours and our battery's down to 84%. I think we can put another two hours on this. So this will probably take us to 26, 27 hours. Let's see where we end up at. Wow, 
all I can say is, wow, this thing actually went 30 hours and is still going. I just looked in the tank, it's almost empty. If we take a look here, we are at six hours. If you had the 24 where it rolled over, we are at 30 hours here total. You can see here, we are completely out of fuel. You look down in there, you can kind of see some. There's a little jiggling around, but it is all the way at the bottom. And we are still pulling five, five to 10 watts and we used about 19% of the battery over the last 30 hours. What a good test. So what I'm gonna redo now is I'm gonna turn around, set this back up, fill it back up with gas, and we're gonna turn it on high and let it go. Okay, we've got everything set up for test two. We're gonna run on high as long as we can, and we've got it kicked off. We are already at the five minute mark. We are maxed out, and we are as high as this thing will go. Uh, one thing I want you to note is the you're running between 35 and 40 watts at this point in time and it's not going to be like a refrigerator it's going to be continuous so just plan for that and the fuel is full we filled that back up put a gallon of fuel in there i am guessing with this thing going maxed out like this five hours let's see what happens i had guessed 15 hours when it went low and it actually went 30 hours so we'll see all right this thing's been running for about three hours on a high, as, as high as it'll go and if you're curious about a couple things this thing is hot. Can't get my hand any closer than that. So if we go in here and zap it really quick, and we'll hit it right there on the metal. Now we're looking at 300 degrees in some different areas inside of there, 321, 329. If we go here and look at the exhaust, which is super hot. And we're looking at 232, oh, actually we're looking at 300 degrees coming out of there too. So this thing's really hot. Now it is cruising along. I thought it was only the last five hours. I mean, we're not even half empty on the fuel at this point in time. I think we might go 10. All right, the test on the max output is done. And as before, I was completely wrong. I thought it was gonna go five hours. I actually went 11 hours. Wide open on one tank of fuel at max speed coming out. And it was really hot and really flowing. If we look here, we're down on our Blue Eddy all the way to 33. We went ahead and unplug this guy. He is completely out of gas and emptied up. And you can kind of see there's a little bit down in there, but it's below the fuel pump. So in closing, this Wipro diesel heater, I got to tell you, is, is awesome. If I had to really break this down into three things that I would say uh, that I have really enjoyed with it, one is its ease of use. You know, I basically plugged this thing in, even though it is a kit, but it is an all-in-one. I just plugged it in, and it worked. Uh, we were all able to start. There was nothing I really had to do. I didn't have to take it apart. The second one really is around the noise. This was a problem with the previous ones. This one's quiet. It says it's extremely quiet on, on their documentation on Amazon, and you know what? It is quiet. And probably the third one, and maybe one of the more important ones, especially if we're out and about and it's really, really cold, is fuel efficiency. As you saw on low, which is really what you use for the most time if you're using a rooftop tent and overland capacity, just because you're, you're usually under 40 square feet, is 30 hours. I mean, you're talking about basically three days or three nights on one tank of gas. And if you got a one gallon diesel, you could easily go out in the field for five days with that. So that is pretty awesome as well. As you can see, the wind is howling here. It's getting ready to start raining tonight. So those are really my main things, is really ease of use, the noise, and, and the fuel efficiency that I see as really benefits. Obviously, this is a small compact size. It's under $130 on their website as of Saturday, November 18th. Uh, and it all connects up really well. Very, very happy. Look for another follow-up video to this one with uh, us actually taking this thing out camping. I'm waiting for it to get down into the the low 20s or the teens give this a really good good test out in the field again hey thank you for your time i appreciate everybody sitting through this video and going through the kind of the the test and trials of this hey if you got a lot of value out of this please click that like button don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out it's right around thanksgiving everybody have a great thanksgiving and thank you for your time